This is Engage New York. Lesson two, I mean, module two, lesson 29. This is the concept development and the problem set together. Lamar has 1,354.5 kilograms of potatoes to deliver equally to 18 stores. 12 of the stores are in the Bronx. How many kilograms and potatoes will be delivered to stores in the Bronx? So we know that 1,354.5 kilograms have to go to 18 stores. So what's our step one? What we really need are looking for it in the end is how many kilograms of potatoes will be delivered to stores in the Bronx. So first we need to divide 18 stores into the total amount of potatoes and we get 75.25 pounds of potatoes. One store gets 75.25 pounds of potatoes. Step two. Now, 12 of the stores are in the Bronx. So we need to now take 75.25, which is one store, and multiply it by 12 stores. And we end up with 903, 903 kilograms are going to the Bronx, 903 kilograms. Then we have Valerie uses 12 fluid ounces of detergent each week in her laundry. If there are 75 fluid ounces of detergent in the bottle, how many weeks will she need to buy a new bottle of detergent? Explain how you know. So we know that one pound equals 16 ounces. So we know that 12 fluid ounces is less than that 16 ounces. So what we're gonna do is divide the 12 ounces into the 75 fluid ounces and end up with 6.25 because what we're trying to find is how often will she need to buy a new bottle of detergent? After six weeks, well, I almost, you'd have to almost say seven weeks. After seven weeks, she will have to buy a new bottle because she will not have enough. Oh, let's leave that. Let's leave six weeks. After six weeks, she will have to buy a new bottle because she will not have enough for a seventh week. All right, <clears throat> moving on to problem three. The area of a rectangle is 56.96 meters squared. If the length is 16 meters, what is the perimeter? So what do we know? Let's start off with, we know that perimeter is equal to side plus side plus side plus side. And we know the length is 16 plus 16 plus and that's what we're trying to find out, right? We don't know those other two sides because it is a rectangle. And we know that rectangles opposite sides are equal. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take 16 and divide it into 56.96 and get 3.56. So the width is equal to 3.56 meters. Another way to do it is to say area, which is 56.96, is equal to 16 times the width. And in order to get rid of that 16 and isolate the width, you would divide both sides and get rid of the 16 because 16 over 16 is equal to one, right? So it would be one, the width, one width. And so 16, remember how I've been telling you that a fraction is really a division problem? Fractions are decimals also. So when you divide 16 into 56.96, like we did over here, you end up 3.56 meters. Problem four, a city block is three times as long as it is wide. If the distance around the block is 0 0.48 kilometers, what is the area of the block in square meters? So this problem is definitely more advanced here. So let's write down some of the things that we know. We know if the distance around the block is, so the distance kilometers, meters, oh, 
we have to change our kilometers into meters as well. So we know that the the distance around the block is 0 0.48 kilometers, which is less than a kilometer, right? Because 0 0.5 would be half a kilometer. Now, I drew a picture of the street. What is the area of the block in square meters? Well, a city block is three times as long as its width. So three times. So we need to, number one, we have to take 0 0.48 and convert it into meters because our answer has to be in meters. So let's just do that right away. Now, we know that, per, that what is the area of the block in square meters? So now, remember the area is, the, is what we're uh, trying to solve for the inside. It's like an area rug. An area rug is the inside of the rug. So we have a city block is three times as long as it is wide. So that's why I have it broken up into three units. Now, if the distance around the block is 0 0.48 kilometers, what is the area of the block in square meters? So what we're going to do, we know that two times the length and two times the width. That's what we're trying to solve for. So take a second and I want you to wrap your head around this problem for just a moment. All right, so now let's go through what all of this means. So I have my length and my city block is three times as it is wide. Well, I know that there are two sides right? And I have to break that up into three. Like one side is broken up into three equal parts. Another side is broken up into three equal parts. So, and then we have our width. Well, here's one side and here's one side. And those aren't broken up into three equal parts, right? So I have my length, one side, two sides broken up into three equal parts. Now I have my width and my width. There are two sides of the rectangle. So what I do is I take up my pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six plus two equals eight units. Eight units is equal to 480 meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide eight into 480 meters and get 60 meters. So I now know that one unit is equal to 60 meters. So here we go. Now, so my length, so what is the area of the block in square meters? So my length times width equals area, right? So 180 times 60 equals my area. Now I did do some of the math here off to that aside, 180 times 60, which we kind of know, like remember what you know. Okay, so 10,800 meters squared because area always has to be meters squared because there are two sides, the length, the length side and the width side that you're actually multiplying. Now, here's your exit ticket. Haley borrowed $1,854 from her parents. She agreed to pay them to repay them in equal installments. That equal installments is crying out division, isn't it? Throughout the next 18 months. How will how much will Haley still owe her parents after a year? So how many months are in a year? So one year is equal to 18, oh, sorry, 12, excuse me, 12 months, right? And then six months, because if you add it up, right, is 18, is a half of a year. So this is not that hard of a division problem. So after one year, so you're, are you going to divide by 18 months or just by the 12 months and then know what the remainder is or the res what's left over? Now, Eureka Math, Grade 5, Module 2, Lesson 29. Mr. Eureka Math will go through each of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 problems with you if you need additional help. But remember, these problems 
are going to go along with your problem set. So look at the structure, look what they're asking, look what they're asking. How did we solve, solve it over here? How should it be solved over here? So your additional resource is to go to Eureka Math and he will go through the homework with you. All right, I'm sure. Now, of course, always try the homework. Try it, why not? Try it, see what you are able to do. How far can you get before you need that help? All right, good luck.